Yo, what up, Street Talks? There, Kim. All right, so the thought. The thought is, why do anything in life that you consider hateful or disagreeable to yourself? So the weird thing is, I think in today's utilitarian society, the basic gist is thou must have the virtues of a machine. Thou must continually work like a machine, work without toil. All you need is a little fuel, no rest. And um, the more you produce, the more you do, the more virtuous you are. But the funny thing is, no one ever says why this is so virtue, why this is so virtuous, and towards what ends should we strive this for. So, you know, like, I don't know, maybe the basic thing is people are like, oh, you know, if you act like this and you're more virtuous, whatever, then maybe you'll be happier. That could be one theory. Uh, maybe another theory is, um, you know, kind of like the Protestant work ethic. So if you think of it as like a, a religious thing, then he who produces the most and is most productive and makes the most money, virtuous, blah, blah, is most likely to go to heaven and not to go to hell. So that's uh, another thought. And uh, perhaps another thought too is also like, uh, you know, kind of like this economic capitalist notion where the more capital you accumulate and create and stuff like that, the more virtuous you are. But once again, like one thing that's a little bit curious to me is what is the ultimate end goal and towards what? So I think it is because people want to feel like happy, but then again, that's not very specific either. So. So even happiness is a goal. I don't even I don't even know if that's really the goal. So, I mean, maybe a more pragmatic goal is uh, people want to become more powerful to accumulate more power. I mean, that's that's fine. But also, like, how does one even define power and power power for what as well? Because you could accumulate power, but what do you want power for? Do you want power for the sake of power? Or do you want power for the sake of something else? I have no idea. So I can't speak for you, but I'll speak for myself. So for myself, I desire maximal autonomy and freedom over my life. And so for me, my primary joy in life is having the freedom, the autonomy to pursue whatever I want, not to do nothing I don't want or I don't care for. And in the hopes of uh, maybe discovering deeper truths about X, Y, and Z. And I just want like kind of maximal fun and enjoyment. And the best way to get maximal fun and enjoyment is uh, to have the most free-spirited life. Yeah, to have the most free-spirited life possible in order to maximize and augment my own personal creative flourishing and uh, so forth. So... So, once again comes the question. Once you have maximal freedom and happiness and joy and stuff like that, then what do you want to... Uh, to do with it? So... Then maybe my more pragmatic life goal then is I just want to create and produce artistic things, creative things that personally bring me 
joy and happiness in life. And maybe it's like one of my interests too is seeing how far humans can take ourselves. Because I do have deep respect and also have deep hopes for all of humanity. And uh, I'm just a little bit disappointed. I feel like we haven't really been able to, you know, even given all of the technology we have, we haven't even hit the limits of what a human could achieve. So, and then this is also the weird thing too, is that like now the focus is too much on making money and being productive for the sake of being productive. It's not really to increase the grandeur, the beauty, the strength, the epicness of uh, human beings. So even now, like I think the vibes is like, especially with Silicon Valley, is that humans aren't really that important. More important is AI algorithms and money and stuff like that, or just accumulation. It's kind of more like herd mentality. It's like the more followers you have, the better. The more likes you have, the better. The more money you have, the better. But if we believe in a more like noble and elite society, perhaps these aren't actually the same life goals that we should uh, pursue. So, cause like for me, you know, my buddy Randy told me, he's like, I, I, Eric, you're an elitist. I'm like, no, I'm not an elitist. You know, I believe in the peoples, right? But I'm like, nah, actually now that I think about it, yeah, I guess I am an elitist, but not a, not an elitist that, I don't believe that just because you're rich, you're elite. Sometimes people who are even more poor could be more elite. So maybe I have a new definition of uh, elitism where my notions of elitism come more from, you know, your strength, your virtues, and how much risk you're willing to stomach and take on for yourself and for others. And so maybe uh, the new mark of courage could actually be, you know, just kind of more personal risk taking and stuff like that. And uh, not any of this other basic shit. And for me, primarily as, you know, photographer, blogger, thinker, philosopher, whatever, whatever you have it, my primary strength is maybe uh, questioning the norms. Uh, I was thinking about it more today is that like, I'm so grateful I studied sociology. It gave me the opportunity to question everything I once believed to be true. And it's helped me personally grow a new pair of uh, creative wings. So just know that you is beyond basic. Life is infinitely interesting and complex. And perhaps the, your life goal could be strive to see the most epic human being you could become.